Hey foodies, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to make a wild blueberry pie. I can't wait to share this recipe with you. You'll also need the ingredients and the recipe of the sweet pie shell, which you can find in the description below. But first, we want to start by making our filling. This is the best part of it all. I've got some canned wild blueberries that I picked from last summer, and I'm going to use these up. You can use the equivalent of about four cups of wild blueberries and juice. And so we want to start that. Pot. Then while that's warming up, I'm going to add my sugar. And now I'm going to mix in my cornstarch and my water. You can use Frankie's all-purpose flour, just a regular all-purpose flour, but I want to have it look more like a gel than more like a stew. So I'm gonna make it with cornstarch because the starch is gonna give it a clearer finish. And once you add starch, you got to keep a close eye on the blueberries and keep stirring it because once it's thickened, you want to stop it. And you can see right along the edge here, it's starting to boil. So I'm just going to give it a stir, which means that it's starting to heat up, which is exactly what you want. So I'm just going to give my cornstarch mixture another stir, and I'm pouring it in. And then I'm just going to stir it up. And you can see it's quite milky white and you'll know when it's ready when it turns a more translucent color. So while that's heating up, I'm going to take my pastry and I'm going to lightly dust my surface and I'm going to dust that and I'm going to start rolling out the pastry. Making sure that I always have a well floured surface. You can see it's sticking just a little bit here, so I'm going to put a little extra flour down. Oh, and this looks beautiful. Okay. I'm going to take my scraper and just scrape up the edges just to make sure it's not going to stick too much on me. My pie plate. And then we're going to roll it up on the rolling pin and roll it back out. Look at that, that looks beautiful. Now, Chef Donna at Frankie's has taught me that if you put an extra lid on top and you cut around the edges, you can do it real quick and you get a perfect edge every time. So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to roll out the, the lid. But first, I'm going to just give this a stir and you can see it's already turned to a gel. So I'm shutting on off the heat, giving it a good stir and it's going to sit there until I'm ready for it. Okay, now we do the lid. I'm going to 
let's check it for size. One more pass. There we go. Let's move that over. Now we got our pipe plate. I'm gonna get a spoon. There we go. Oh, the blueberry filling looks amazing. Look at that. Mmm. There we go. And now we just roll this on the top. We're gonna do a little crimp on the edge. And I'm picking a piece of it up with my finger and the, my thumb on my other hand is holding it down. Okay, and I'm gonna do a big B on here tell me that it's blueberry. Mmm. Now at this point, if you want to sprinkle a little bit of coarse sugar on top, you can. You can also brush it with a little bit of egg wash. But I'm just going to do a little bit of coarse sugar and I'm going to pop it in the oven. We'll see what it looks like when it comes out. This smells so good. The wild blueberries, I can't wait to dig into it. I had a little extra filling and a bit of extra pastry, so I managed to make two small pies. I mean, those will go great for just a little, like, couple's special dinner or something like that. But I wanna cut into that big one and let's see what it looks like. You can see there's a little bit of overflow from the berries, and that's okay. It just means I put a little too much berry in there. It just means it's gonna be very, very good. So I'm not too worried. The first one's always the hardest to get out. Oh my goodness. That looks so good. Now, if I had put this in the fridge overnight and let it set up, it would hold even more, but I'm just too excited. I want to try it. And I want to dig in. Oh, that pastry is so light. Mmm. Mmm. And there's not too much starch. I find sometimes when I buy a store pot pie, there's a lot of extra thick goopiness in it. But this, you control how much sugar and how much berry goes into it. And it's gonna be so worthwhile when you bite into that. I look forward to reading your comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.